your cookies, Michael? Uh, when people leave a crap ton of lint in the dryer. Oh no. Because it's like, hey. <laughs> this was on your body. Is that at university yeah. quarters, Michael? What? The lint? Or are you back home? Oh, it's in varsity quarters. It's in varsity quarters. That's what yep, I meant. Um, Michael, what's your around. social security number? <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh... 22398 Okay. 675-309. Six, six, six. <laughs> Jenny, One. I have your number. Are the washers and dryers free there? Yeah, they are. Oh, that's awesome. My mom noticed that I didn't. <laughs> what's going on? pretty sweet. Real convenient. So, <laughs> what's up, you guys? Yeah, flying around, man. Dude. Breathing fire on people. So I have a topic I want. Well, I wanted to talk about Tomb Raider, I guess, because me and Michael have differing opinions. The differing opinions are what make the new Tomb Raider. Yes. The reboot. Yes, the reboot. I okay. await your rebootal. <laughs> well, I can't reboot something that hasn't been booted, but I'll try. Okay, I don't think Lara Croft was an interesting character before, and even though I don't think the current one is the greatest characters, I like her a hell of a lot more than. The original man fantasy. But okay, here's my big rebuttal. Boob, twin pistol, Angelina Jolie. Right. That's revisionist history, Michael. <laughs> <laughs> that movie came out after. God. Um. Dude, think... and you two do the soundtrack and. What? Yeah, elevation. That's edgy. Of... Let's see what you do. <laughs> There's um, actually no like the music video is Angelina Jolie saving the edge and it's really weird. What? Uh, From falling off the stage? Not know that this was a thing. <laughs> falling off the stage. <laughs> um, I think the original Lara Croft is a much stronger female character than the new one, and it confuses me as to why people regard this is it new one as like. Because there was a nude mod, Tucker. <laughs> Pretty sure there's a nude bad for the new one. I know she's female. <laughs> like, you have this character who's like smart, rich, she travels the world, she fights crazy animals, and then the new one, she's like getting assaulted by men and getting stabbed through the arm with sticks and like she doesn't know what she's doing. But that's because she's new to it. Yeah, I feel like the that was the reboot would be like the more grounded approach. I guess that's like, way I mean, less interesting to me. There's not going to be like a lady going fighting giant velociraptors in some ancient Aztec tomb or something. But that's what the next one's going to be. <laughs> it took her Why? one game to learn how to fight <laughs> velociraptors. Well, I mean, she was only Chris like Pratt, sexually... It took Chris Pratt one season on uh, Arrested Development. Well, okay, like six seasons on Arrested Development to learn how to train velociraptors. <laughs> so... And Dude. one has to fade through space. They like to eat. Space. They like to hunt. They like to. <laughs> you gotta be able to relate to these boys, right? That's my Chris Pratt. <laughs> <laughs> that was beautiful. I, I thought some Chris Dave Pratt. Matthews band. <laughs> what does Marco have to say? You've reached the highest point in Cliff Town. You can get to almost anywhere. Uh huh. Like I don't uh -huh. think you make women stronger by. <laughs> Making their boobs smaller? Yeah, it doesn't... <laughs> but I don't think you make them strong... I like, I think Lara Croft was a strong female character, but in the same note, I think she's an over-sexualized character. So is this new one? Not in the same she's way. She's wearing like a tank top. I mean, there's more cleavage in this new one than there was in the old one. What? No! Dude, there totally is. She has like a low-cut tank top on instead of like blue pointy <laughs> bosoms. Well, at least they didn't pull, like, a, what was it called? The third birthday. And have, Excuse like, her me. clothes tear as she got damaged. Yeah, only Batman can do that. Batman's <laughs> yeah. not sexist. It's because he's a man that's ripped. Yeah. Just like everyone else in those games. <laughs> Harley Quinn's, like, bench pressing, like, 300 pounds. <laughs> yeah. Pretty much. Um, we'll come back to this level. Like, Goodbye, oh. desert. Oh. Also, I didn't think that last Tomb Raider was all that. What? Amazing. No. 
It was so much fun though. Well, okay. It's not, I don't think it was the greatest thing coming out of last gen. But I liked it. I enjoyed my time with it. It was like Uncharted without the crazy stuff happening. I liked how they did like the exploring. How you could like go into this little alcove here and find a treasure and put it there like rotate marked it around. on the map. Up aboard for the map. Oh. Let's go to Magic Crafters. <laughs> Who cares? Just jump on so a set. So why is Spyro taking a balloon to fly if he can fly? Hot air or something. Going something. to space. Oh, just the mountains. <sighs> Serene. <laughs> oh crap! It's, it's not Serene. It's not Serene. <laughs> this game is pretty darn good graphics for a PlayStation One game. Yes. This game is so charming. I love it. The little thief guy goes na 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 na. Ah yes, Chance the Rapper thief. Welcome to Magic Crafters. Mm -hmm. I want yeah, you yeah. to really blah 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 blah. These guys are hoity toity. Um. <laughs> like if this new Tomb Raider. Okay, the okay. <laughs> the last Tomb Raider was fine. If this new Tomb Raider is just that again. I don't see how that's interesting at all. No, I would agree, but Come the Square here, Enix conference really squandered their Tomb Raider spot. They just talked about, oh, we have realistic snow physics. We have like four <laughs> phases of snow we can have her accumulate, and there's your Rise of the Tomb Raider. I mean, see Uncharted you later, guys. 2 basically did that, and that was like five years ago. These guys are awesome. You gotta. Oh, okay. You could say you're a uh, fan. <laughs> you could, Michael, you could. You could say that. You could. Oh god, the camera doesn't like that portal. Oh no. Alpine, Alpine Ridge! Um. Like. Give me a new gameplay. <laughs> <laughs> well, like, what do, you, what do you think they could do for new gameplay? Well, that's their job. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Like, I feel Wait, like we... different enemies? I don't know. Like, no, I just mean, like, in general, basically. Like, I feel like we're at this, like, crap. We're at this... <laughs> Surrender! <laughs> um, I feel like don't we're... Don't give yourself away. Well, okay. Wow, you just got batted. Oh, God. <laughs> the game has changed. Those things look so derpy. <laughs> You know, this like, game does man. not look easy. <laughs> yeah. The other ones are easier. I think a lot of the early PlayStation games are... Pretty difficult. More reminiscent of, like, Super Nintendo type stuff. Like or... Resident Evil? Sure. You know what? I have not played the original Resident Evil. I played it twice. I heard it's delicious like a Jill sandwich. This is Barry's blood. <laughs> I feel like I know everything that happens in it, but I have not actually experienced it. Yeah. Yo, the dogs jump through the window. What? Yeah. Um, but like, none of the games that they showed, I'm sorry, this is another E3 episode. Um, none of the games they showed had like, like, Horizons looks awesome, but you like shot the boss in the glowing youth point <laughs> to kill him. Yeah. It's like, so it's uh, destiny. <laughs> I mean, that was in games, like, 15 years ago. Like, we yeah. haven't progressed at all. <laughs> Do we need to progress? That's the question. He says as he's playing a 15-year-old. Uh, <laughs> this game's art. That's just what I feel like all these, like, indie platformers are like, our game's art. It's an exact copy of every other indie platformer out there. And it's like, that's not what art is. Just because your game has, like, a different art style to it or whatever, it doesn't... <sighs> Link to the Past is just art. You don't, you just don't get it. Man, that Link to the Past playthrough <laughs> is something special. <laughs> <laughs> that game's still one of my favorite games ever. Not for me. I understand, Tucker. Mr. Why do we need simplification in games? Well, there's simplification, and then there's 
showing you exactly where to go but not telling you at all what to do. And I don't experience a lot of games that do that. Link to the Past did that. Wait, what did it do? It showed you where to go, and then it put an obstacle in your path, and it... Oh, crap. <laughs> <laughs> It showed you, like, you have to go to this temple. And then it has this thing that you can't get by, and it doesn't tell you at all how to... Unless I missed, like, a major part of the game, but at no point does it say, Go ram into a bookshelf. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't understand. Well, like, nowhere in Ocarina is, like, does it tell you how to beat the bosses or anything? You just kind of assume... Well, they have giant glowing weak points. <laughs> True. You know what? I'm gonna admit something. As a kid, I totally got crap. Oh! As a kid, I got stuck on the first boss because I didn't realize you had to look up at it. So I was like <laughs> wandering around this really creepy, like, <laughs> death dungeon, and I'm like, I have no idea what's going on, but I'm very scared. Mommy. And then you do look up at it, and it's like, I'm gonna get you. Yep. Ow. If you just fell off the ledge right there, I'd be <laughs> kinda happy. I'm good at video games. I'll do it. Oh, thank you oh, for releasing me. Didn't even me. know to run into the uh, bookcase. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I am truly the greatest idiot 